This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I am pretty good. I've been busy trying to finish this. Uh, I did a tutorial on how to crochet this lovely uh, uh, baby blanket that I started and I switched to this and um, I, what I did is I used up my uh, crochet threads that I had <laughs> And I tried to give that uh, fade look. As you can see, I haven't washed it yet because I haven't finished it. So what I did is I started with a light color and uh, I did two strands. Uh, I believe I had uh, number 30 and I had number 10. I even had number 50, which was very thin. So when I, uh, I bought these years ago when Eaton's was open, when Woodward's open, was open here in Canada. So these have been staying in my stash and the colors have faded as you can see. But that's no problem when I wash it, it will go away. This is for my personal use. Going, I'm making, a, this one's going to be on my round table. And I will take a picture and put it on my Instagram or and also on my fan Facebook and you can uh, see the end look. So uh, while I was finishing, I have the, in the length that I want. It's going to be a square. It is a square. And uh, what I did is uh, I'm at the end and I'm just wanted to show you how to finish. So I will show you. It's pretty wide. It's pretty big as you can see and you can see. The edge colors are darker, but nothing to worry about with my personal use. When you wash these, this will turn white. Not white, but it will turn uh, lighter. So it will go back to same color. So, But I just wanted to give that nice look to put on my table, that fade look. So I use different colors. And I used two strands when I had the thin, uh, thin thread. I used three strands. So I'm almost finishing. So I'm going to show you how to finish it up. So I am here where I started. And uh, I will show you how to finish it. So how to finish it. What you do is here. Just want to show you. So this is the corner. When you come. Well, I'm here, right? So when we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create this. We're going to pull the three uh, double crochets at one. So I'll just show it to you. So uh, this tutorial is going to be the tutorial for the border of this blanket. You can make baby blankets. What this is going to be a tablecloth. You can make anything with this uh, that I did a tutorial and I will put the link below. It's very easy and all we do is we use front post. So I am coming here. I'm making my double crochet front post, but I'm not pulling these last two loops. So I'm continue. If you uh, washed it, watched it. Okay, so I did my second and I'm going to do my third. So I am decreasing. And I pull, pull the four loops at once to give that nice look as, uh, as the top of the leaf here, leaf. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to chain what we did on the previous we did chain so this is when you do the border when we're doing the top of the sleeve so I continue crocheting and I do two rows of the leaf here so I'm going to do my third and I do my front post just like this but I do not do the chain so what we're going to do is we're pulling these together it's pretty heavy just to point that out I waited it's about a pound <laughs> of thread that I used so I'm gonna do picots one two three four I'll chain five I'll chain five and I just go between here and then I make a single crochet and I continue doing that on each double crochet I do front post two 
three, four, five, and I do a pico just between here. Just like this. And I'm using three strands of the th thread. So I continue crocheting front post, double crochets, one, two, three, four, five chain. And then I make picots on top of the double crochets right here. Just like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then you should have a total of 11 front post double crochets. Just like this. Okay, so I made my last uh, front post and I did my pico. So I'm going to jump here and I'm going to do my three front posts, but I'm, I'm not going to pull up the last two loops. So I can pull them all together just like this. And then I'll just chain one. Well, we're not supposed to chain, but just to secure it. And I jump. To the other leaf so what we do is we finish one leaf one leaf <laughs> and then we start to continue crocheting the other leaf half so we do the half of the leaf and when we do the half of the leaf we create we make picots on top of each 10 front post just like this we don't make picots on top of the when we finish the leaf because there's no room as you can see this way we're pulling uh, these uh, two leaves together and then and then joining with the three leaves and then making finishing it up so I will finish this and I will show you one more time to do this uh, last leaf so you won't get confused so we just do our regular front post and then one two three four five you can do four chain but uh, because this is a thread and um, i just wanted to give it give it a nice look so that's why i am chaining total of five and again i used up my thread that i had in my stash well these coat uh, brand names that i had so i used up all of them and uh Due to this uh, COVID-19, I've been uh, opening my containers and checking my stash and using up my yarn and selling, <laughs> selling some of them that I'm not never going to leftover yarn that I had that I've been saving forever so others can enjoy them. Yeah, so I will come back and I will show you one more time and this is how it looks like okay so I'm going to show you one more time I just do my regular front post but I do not pull the last two loops and I go to the next one and I repeat that three times and then I pull all those four loops together just to secure it, I do one chain and then I continue doing my front post. So at the corner, we do the same. A lot of front posts and a lot of picots to create this lovely uh, edge. So I just wanted to share it with you. It's very easy and it gives a nice end result. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's just to show you how to do the border. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy crocheting <laughs> stay home stay safe take care